hot water is produced by the sun's rays and regular street tap water flowing behind a heat collector system. That water then immediately drains back into this tank, which is then shared with any number of various storage tanks we have in the garage attic, where we are now, and the house, which is right over there. On a day like today, which is about 65, 68 degrees, the water in my tanks is 126 degrees, which is actually one degree warmer than you're allowed to serve hot water in, uh, in Paramus. So that all said, we have a source for hot water here, and we also have our regular air intake for the home. This is a secured room with an alarm system off our house. Uh, many other high performance passive houses are gonna have their air intake, but it's located somewhere on the outside. We thought it was important for home security and our family's safety to keep this in a secure location indoors. After all, it is an airtight building and that is the only intake source for air, okay? The room we're in intakes the air from indoors and then travels 300 feet around the entire property underground and into the basement of the home where it then comes up it goes to the energy recovery ventilator which is that one box that circulates all the fresh air the reason that air goes underground and around the house is because on a really hot day or a really cold day the temperature just below the frost line, just below 10 feet below ground, is much more temperate, much more moderate. 